You're watching the station that works for you. Now, ABC2 News at 5. How can All right, Governor Hogan announced just about an hour and a half ago that he has been diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. It is a very aggressive form of the disease, but the governor says he's going to fight this. We're joined now by uh, Dr. Robert Brooklyn, American Cancer Society, and Chief of Radiolo Radiation Oncology at GBMC. Doctor, thank you so much for coming in. We watched his briefing. Um, he was very, very positive, but even though telling us it was a uh, aggressive stage three, stage four. Tell us about this cancer. Well, there are two forms of lymphoma. There's Hodgkin's lymphoma, and then all the other types get put into a category called non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. There's many different flavors of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Some can be much more aggressive than others. And apparently, uh, we're learning that he, is ha he has an aggressive form of this disease. Then it comes in various stages, one, two, three, and four. And our understanding is that he at least has a stage three disease, and they're uh -huh. doing some more testing to see if it might even be stage four. But you, the, you were, but we were hearing that it's, it it's could be him. stage four. It's all over his body. He's felt it in his back. He felt it in his. <clears throat> it doesn't sound good to us. But you're saying he can make through this. Yes, th th this this is a disease that is treatable, uh -huh. depending on the specific subtype of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. There will be treatments to be offered. Usually they're systemic therapies, and they may be very effective. And so we need to remain optimistic and hopeful that his disease will respond to the treatments once a treatment plan is designed for him. And there are patients who will do very well with aggressive treatment. So he, he's got a fight ahead of him, but he's a fighter, and hopefully he'll do well with this. 18 weeks of aggressive treatment. What are we talking about here? He said, you know, he's going to lose his hair, but he still plans to work. And I've had patients who work full-time during their treatments, and it, they have much more effective medicines these days to help with the side effects that we used to really fear, nausea, for example, and, and lowered blood counts. We now have ways of combating those, those side effects so that people can undergo aggressive forms of treatment and still have those side effects managed so that they can keep up with activities. How about the, he went from chemo to looking at bone marrow transplant. I mean, yeah, what, what is that, that an is, indication? Of? Well, some types of lymphomas and other diseases occasionally are, are best treated with the most aggressive forms of chemotherapy that will totally wipe out the bone marrow and then they come in and rescue the bone marrow in what is called a bone marrow transplant. So they give such high doses of, mm -hmm. of drugs that the blood counts get wiped out and then they are restored. How do you keep an eye out? How do you know that you have this type of cancer? I know he said he noticed it with the golf ball size. Yeah. And you need to be aware of your body and when something is different you can wait a week or two because many of us get things that will then go away on their own. But things that just seem to be getting more prominent, more symptomatic, you consult with your family physician. And, uh, and he was probably very, very quick in seeking attention. So even though it, we're now hearing it's an aggressive form, a stage three at least, that doesn't mean he neglected this. He may have gone very promptly and unfortunately just presented at this more advanced stage. But he at least followed up with the symptoms, his findings followed through the studies that his physicians wanted him to do and as soon as they finalize the stage and the diagnosis they'll come up with a plan and I know he'll roll up his sleeves and get to work dealing with this. You know it's also the uh, the mental impact, the finding this mentally, finding this positive. You've seen it in many of your patients. The way you have to fight this is being positive. You have to st hang in there, be hopeful, be optimistic because a lot of our patients will do well and they just have to go with the program that their physicians lay out for them, and we have ways of dealing with the side effects to get you through it. Uh, he definitely came across as hopeful and positive yeah. today, even well, making jokes. Yeah, and he said it. He's going to be positive. He's a fighter. Doctor, yeah. thank you so much for You're taking welcome. the time. Thank you so much for coming He's in, Dr. the best at GBMC. The huh? boss. The boss. The boss. Thanks for sharing your insight with us. Thank you. You're very we're welcome. We're going to continue to stay on top of this story. We're going to have the very latest developments on air, online, and on our ABC2 News app. Get the breaking news alert sent straight to your smartphone to get it. Just head to abtnews.com slash mobile. You can also follow us on Twitter. Our handle is at ABC2 News. Well, the doctor's still here, and we just had somebody just text me, cancer is treatable, the doctor's right. 50% is attitude, positive attitude work. Thank you, doctor. Thanks so much for coming in. You know, it took us uh, 65 years.